Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to USVA SOL Review by Standard. Uh, again, glad to keep coming back. And this is part two of that Revolutionary War standard. So it's going to be standards for C and D. Glad you keep coming back. Let's get right into it for today. So standards for C and D are the French and Indian War, the beginning and eventually the end of the American Revolution. Uh, the differences among the colonists. We're going to be talking about two different groups within the colonies that support and don't support the war effort and factors leading to uh, colonial victory. All right, moving right into it. Big jumble the standard to take a look at here. But this is it. All right. So can't talk about the American Revolution without talking about another conflict going on in the colonies uh, right before it. So the English and the French don't like each other. Uh, who knows why that is, but it, it's always been that way, um, uh, mostly due to the fact that they share um, some some European power uh, with each other, and they, they each want to, to gain that. So in North America, it's between them over Canada. Uh, essentially, the French had, had been in Canada since the 1500s, trading furs with Native Americans, very nice to them. Uh, the British wanted to take over uh, over Canada uh, because they wanted all of North America to themselves. Um, essentially, Indians are going to fight on both sides, uh, but Britain is going to take over most of North America with this war effort, also called the Seven Years' War in Europe. Uh, a couple of things are drawn and, and are essential for American history. The Proclamation Line of 1763 is going to prohibit settlement west of the Appalachian Mountains for colonists, a region that was costly for the British to protect. Uh, they said, no, nope, you can't go past here because we're not paying for it. New taxes on uh, legal documents, anything that you sent with a stamp or, or the Stamp Act. Tea, sugar are going to be put on the colonists, and they are not going to be very happy. Um, this money is going to uh, British troops who are coming in and protecting, quote-unquote, the colonists. The colonists go absolutely crazy over this stuff. So we, in a series of, of diplomatic failures and uh, after declaring our independence, are going to uh, get into a fight with a much bigger, much stronger country in Great Britain. Um, so we, we start off, uh, like I said, in, in failed diplomatic ways with the Boston Tea Party happening where we are dumping tea uh, into, into the, uh, the Boston Harbor. Uh, First Continental Congress is called, to which all of the colonies except for Georgia are going to send representatives. First time most of the colonies have all come together acting on one issue. Boston Massacre happens on March 5th, 1775, and it's going to take place uh, in, in which British troops are going to fire upon anti-British demonstrators. Uh, the first casualty of the war, however, is Crispus Attucks, an African-American uh, man. War begins with the Minutemen in Massachusetts fought in a brief, a brief skirmish, a little battle, with British troops at Lexington and Concord. Oftentimes the SOL wants you to know Lexington and Concord started the American Revolution. Now, not everybody in America wanted to rebel against Britain. Many people were loyal to the crown, uh, but those who were against Britain are called patriots. Uh, they believed in complete independence from Britain, inspired by those ideas of Locke and Payne, uh, the Declaration of Independence, and uh, Virginia, Virginia's own Patrick Henry, who once famously said, give me liberty or give me death, essentially saying, I will fight for this cause and even to the death. Um, the Patriots are going to provide troops for the American Army uh, that's going to be led by George Washington. Um, there's also going to be loyalists, also called Tories. They're going to remain loyal to the British uh, because of cultural and economic ties, mostly those economic ties, I would say. Uh, believe that taxation of the colonies was justified to pay for British troops to protect American settlers from Indian attacks. Um, yes, it may have been. Uh, you would have been right, loyalists. However, there's one small piece that you are missing from your argument, and that is 
that we had no representation. There are people who are also going to be neutral who say, um, we don't really care. We just want to be in our own life here in America. Okay, so eventually, yes, we are going to win. Woohoo. Um, but how? Benjamin Franklin's going to negotiate a treaty of alliance with France. Uh, need to know the treaty of alliance. Essentially, uh, alliance membership or uh, cooperation between two countries. Say, I got your back. France is going to come in and help us support against Britain. Uh, war did not have popular support in Great Britain either. Um, military. Uh, George Washington, general of the army, is going to not be the best leader in terms of military strategy, but it be very, very popular in the fact that he doesn't get us into any situation that would make us lose. And his leadership in in rallying the troops and saying that we you know th those famous battle cries is what's going to get us to win over uh, Britain. Americans are also going to benefit from the French uh, after Ben Franklin had signed the Treaty of Alliance, and um, at the Battle of Yorktown uh, is where the the French are going to help the Americans really seal the deal and end the the war with Great Britain. Okay, that is it. Uh, sadly, it is uh, about the American Revolution. Those are the only few minute details that you do need to know. Uh, hopefully, your, your teacher uh, can help you with, with learning some things if you are interested in the American Re Revolution more in depth. Uh, but that is it. Uh, good luck in, in your studying, and I hope you come back. See you next time.